What's going on, everybody? We're going to be testing out the Unreal Tournament 3. Uh, it's been a long time since I played this game, so I'm uh, just curious to see what this game is like, what the shock rifle was like. You know, I'm obsessed with the shock rifle. What was the, sh the shock like? Uh, I know there's no lightning gun, but there's the usual sniper. How'd the game feel? It's been a long time since I played it. When I first played it, I was playing Unreal Tournament 2004 all day long, so Unreal Tournament 3 was different, and I didn't like it. I know that much, but I want to know why did I not like it? What was different? Let's see. What map do I remember? Oh, there's the beauty deck. We remember that. I remember this game had a big, big, oh yes, uh, Shangri-La. We played a lot of TDM on that. I think we played 1v1 on it too, but it's just way too big. Although the maps are way too big in this game. Um, oh, Sentinel looks, yeah, that was the main one. Sentinel was like one of the only small ones. So there wasn't very many small maps. And I even remember when I played in a tournament, like you'd, you'd play maps that you never even played before because nobody knew what maps to play. All right, we're loading in. Let's see what's going on. Oh, okay. Sensitivity, unbelievably low. I did lower it. And let's be honest, I lowered it way too much. What's a reasonable amount? A thousand? I don't know. What the heck is a thousand even mean? Sure, that's fine. It's a bit high, but we'll live with it. Play. Oh, oh, wait, I thought I put bots off, but that's fine. So you'll notice right away, we got a lot of weapon, sh we got a lot of running shaking. We got the minigun. Yeah, I remember this, it revs up. Got a bit of a rev to it and a secondary fire that you kind of have to lead. Can't remember if there's any splash damage on that. So this game does not have dodge jump, but it has dodge, it has double jump, and you can jump, jump, wall dodge, or you can jump, wall dodge, but you can't dodge, you can't jump after a dodge. Oh, I just got sniped, man. Three health. Okay, too much, too many enemies. Let me reset this. All right, we're back in. Just one enemy this time. Okay, we got shock rifle. Let's go! It actually looks pretty nice. I think this was the first game, yeah, where there was no collision on the shock ball. Actually, probably like UT99. I, uh, I can't remember. But anyway, no collision. Like, oh, a little bit of collision. Okay, just a little bit of collision. Whatever. I remember feeling that this game was very UT99. Very much like UT99. Not much like Unreal Tournament 2004. Because you, you got your hammer, you got no lightning gun, you got no shield gun. Those, those are the things that make Unreal Tournament 2004. Shock rifle's just different. So anyway, let's go through a couple of these weapons here. One, we got the hammer. This is your melee. Oh, wow, a lot of damage. Charge it up, boom. There's your shield belt. Two, we got enforcer. I remember this gun was trash. Has a burst mode as alternate fire. Oh, headshot, baby. What do we got next? Bio rifle, standard. How the heck do I get down there? We didn't play with this on. Did we? You got a crouch? Holy smokes. Quad damage. Bio rifle, exactly what we think it's going to be. No different than the usual. Charge it up for a big glob that explodes or single fire. I'm going to go in the order that they show. Four is our shock rifle. Ultimate fire is the ball. Primary fire to explode the ball. You can spam these at them, but they don't do that much until you explode it. Primary fire. Hey, that was actually a pretty good amount of uh, pretty good amount of knockback. Now that I'm shooting this guy, it's all coming back to me. There was a good amount of knockback, and it was frustrating to get hit by. But we didn't have net code. So you couldn't actually, you couldn't actually uh, hit people because there was so much lag. You had to like pre-fire your shock rifle, which I think is the dumbest thing ever, which makes me not want to play the game. The next we got link gun. Oh yeah. Not that fast with these, but I think they did a lot of damage, but everyone always uses alternate fire. How good is it? I can't really remember. I don't know how much damage these things are doing. Next is the minigun. Already showed it a little bit. Light them up. Okay, this game's actually like kind of decent, you know? Secondary fire does more damage, but slower. 
and you have to pre-fire a little bit. Oh, the flak cannon. I do remember the flak cannon being the best gun in this game for sure. It looks like, like look how big the projectiles look. Like they have so much glow to them. Yeah, I'm owning this Blaine guy though, you gotta admit. Like, this game's not even close. Secondary fire, oh, quite slow. Interesting. Primary fire, just what we think. And next we got the rockets. Yeah, charge it up, triple fire, spiral, or three in a row. Wow, this guy is chatting. Rockets are quite slow. Get wrecked. Quite slow. See how long it takes to get over there? Yeah, that's a slow rocket. And last but not least, the sniper. We got a zoom. Oh, that's a weird zoom. Hold to zoom further. I never like a zoom that takes that long. There's an animation behind it. And it's hit scan. Not much to explain when it comes to a sniper rifle. Is there a headshot? headshot. There it is, baby. That was actually one of the greatest things about 2K4. The fact that you could actually get headshots. headshot. Usually they do double damage. Usually it's 70 and then 140. I'm not actually sure in this. Compared to some of those other games we we're playing, right? Master Arena was uh, 100 damage for every sniper shot. Which was crazy. Because look how easy it is to just shoot people from a distance. Yeah, so this was one of the smaller maps. You kind of see it's just one little donut here. You got this uh, underground thing. Your flat cannon was down here. A little spiral. But it was interesting enough. Enough little areas to go around. Very cool game. I miss this game. Now that I'm playing this, man, let's bring it back. Honestly, it reminds me a lot of UT4. Like they were already going this direction. This was built on the Unreal 3 engine to show it off and like graphically what it could do and it's pretty decent. Everything's built on Unreal 4 engine these days and I think that the fifth one is coming out soon. I don't know. But anyway, this was kind of something that like looked very good for this day. Hey, I'm just exploring. I'm just exploring. And honestly, it's still pretty decent. Well, there you have it, boys. UT3. Maybe you played it, maybe you didn't. What did you miss? Eh, you know, not much. It was a decent game, but yeah, nobody played it. Nobody played it. I played it a lot. But hey, it's, it, I saw, I think it had a campaign mode. Maybe one of these days I'll play through the campaign mode and we'll have another video of UT3. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Should have some more coming at you soon. There's a couple more games that I like to review the guns so you don't have to bother buying the game. All right, guys. See you later.